Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Lock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 18 Percentage and its Applications Exercise 18 D Question 9. And what have we got here? By selling 144 notebooks, Kailash lost the selling price of 6 notebooks. Find his lost percent. Had he purchased them for 7200, what would have been the SP of one notebook, right? So you see here that um, that first of all you need to see that it says by selling 144 notebooks Kailash uh, lost the CP of 6 notebooks right so uh, whenever this ty these types of questions come first and the foremost thing uh, you can do is you can assume the cost price as rupees 1 there are other other methods to, this, uh, to do this as well but this one I feel is a bit easier right so let the cost price be rupees one fine now you see here that we can frame an uh, we can frame an equation with the help of this question see how it says that by selling 144 notebooks kailash lost the selling price of uh, six notebooks right so on the right hand side of the equal side we will have the sp of six notebooks right Okay, this will be the SP that is lost or you can simply say the loss fine and here you see that we will uh, say by selling 144 notebooks so he is suffering loss and uh, remember what uh, loss is the uh, cost price minus the selling price is always the loss fine. So the cost price that is CP of uh, this 144 notebooks right 144 uh, books minus the selling price SP of 144 notebooks right this is going to give you the SP of six notebooks right so you see here that this is basically what this is here it says by selling 144 notebooks so it means that if we subtract the selling price of 144 notebooks from the cost price of 144 notebooks the loss will be equal to that of the selling price of six notebooks now uh, now you see here that we know the cost price because we have assumed it as rupees 1 so we can assume the cost price to be 144 for 144 notebooks right but we don't know the sp but we can assume the sp as well with the help of this equation see how this sp of 144 notebooks which is currently being subtracted this will be taken to this side simple okay so like we do in the transposition method negative changes to positive minus to plus so cp of 144 okay i forgot to write notebooks here so 144 notebooks equals to sp will be here only that is the sp of six notebooks okay and this will come here that is sp of 144 notebooks okay so minus sp of 144 notebooks becomes plus sp of 144 notebooks okay so at last what do we get see cp of 144 notebooks equals to now sp of 6 notebooks plus 144 notebooks becomes what 150 notebooks right so equals to the selling price of 100 and 50 notebooks right right this is what it will be okay so now we can just assume them uh, solve them with the help of our assumption that we've made that is let cp be rupees 1 so input the value cp of 144 notebooks becomes what according to the question right cp of 144 notebooks becomes rupees 144 only and the SP of 144 notebooks sorry not 144 SP of 150 notebooks because after we have solved our equation what have we got here that CP of uh, 144 notebooks equals to the selling price of 50 150 notebooks so SP of 150 notebooks will be what 144 as well okay because it is equal now we can see the SP of one notebook and the CP of one notebook separately. Find it. 
so we have assumed the cp of one notebook was rupees 1 okay so rupees 1 now sp of one notebook will be what so sp of 150 notebooks is 144 so sp of one notebook will be what this 150 will come here so 144 upon 150 right so the sp of one notebook becomes what 144 upon 150 right this is our selling price so you can see that selling price is greater than cost price so there will be uh, this loss now find the loss okay so now we will move on to find the loss and loss will be what uh, see one for uh, one minus the 144 upon 150 okay always subtract smaller from greater fine so this is a fraction so of course it is going to be smaller than a whole number right so this will give you what solve it it's pretty simple you can solve it manually as well right so we will get here 6 by 150 simple okay i'm not doing it because it will take up a lot of space so this is 6 upon 150 that we have found out is going to be our loss right this will be our loss okay and now the question is asking the loss percent loss percent so for finding loss percent what are the things that we need to know the loss loss we already know the cost price cost price we already know that is one and nothing else right into 100 so use the formula for finding the loss percent that is loss upon cost price into 100 so 6 by 150 divided by 1 into 100 okay so this means what cancel this uh, cancel this cancel this right so 6 by 15 into 1 by 1 into 10 fine so 15 and 10 again 3 and 2 here 3 and 6 will be cancelled 2 2 into 1 by 1 into 2 that will give you what 4 percent right so 4 percent becomes our loss percent okay now let's solve the next part of this question right so you see here that now we know the loss percent that is uh, four person right now you see that the second part of this question that says had he purchased them for 7200 what would have been the sp of one notebook what would have been the sp of one notebook so this means what that the cost price of 144 notebooks is 7200 so the cp of 144 this is the second part if you wish you can just uh, mention it right so cpu of 144 notebooks is equal to what rupees 7200 according to the question it's given here right so 7200 so we need to know the cp of one notebook so cp of the cost price of one notebook becomes what equals to rupees 7200 upon 144 all right this is the cost price of one notebook now we need to see that what would have uh, we need to find that what would have been the sp of one notebook right so we know the cp right that is 7200 upon uh, this 144 we know the loss percent as well so we can find the selling price how selling price equals 100 minus the loss percent upon 100 into the cost price so we know the cost price of one notebook the loss percent so find it this way uh, this will be 100 minus loss percent is 400 minus 4 upon 100 into the cost price that is 7200 upon 144 fine so what will this give us let's see so this becomes uh, 94 uh, sorry 96 right upon 100 into 7200 upon 144 just solve this right 100 minus 4 that is 96 rest will be the same so now solve this cut these two zeros cut these two zeros all right and can this be cut yes of course let's cut 72 and 144 by 6 so this be, uh, this will be what 12 okay and this will be what 2 and 2 so 24 right 24 now 24 and 12 again will be cut by 6 2 and 
4 now by 2 so 1 and 2 and 2 and 96 also will be cut so this will go 1 times by 2 this will go 4 and 8 48 times by 2 right so at the end what do we get here rupees 48 this would have been the sp of one notebook okay if he would have purchased them for the 7200 so this becomes our answer four percent that will be the loss per, uh, loss percent and this rupees 48 which is the sp of one notebook all right and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye, -bye.